Hey guys, welcome back for another episode. Since I've seen you guys last, a lot has happened. We have moved house. So we've moved um, back into our old place. Um, it's got a bigger shed, which is good for the boat and the project stuff, but there's not much else big about it. It's a lot smaller than our old place. So a whole bay of the shed's pretty well taken up with storage and um, we've still got plenty of room in there though so it's it should be good to finish this boat off in there. So yeah as a result I haven't done much diving. Um, I've just been flat out moving and renovating. I've still had a little bit of time to make another video. I was going to do one big one but it was going to end up being like you know, 20 minutes half an hour long so I've split it up into two. Um, it's about our local running comp. The running comp that I'm in is in our local spearing club, which is Mackay Down Under Skin Divers. They've held it for the last, I think, three years, maybe four years. Last year I got second place, and this year the winner hasn't been announced yet. So, so fingers crossed I've done all right. I've put some pretty good fish in this year, so hopefully I've, I've done pretty well this year. I think there's about eight species in this one, um, and I'll put the rest in the next video. Righto, let's get on to the diving. Hope you enjoy this one. If you do enjoy it, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. So in our running comp, there's a species list. Now you're able to upgrade your fish through the year. So you get 100 points per species, um, one point per centimetre, up to a maximum of 1.5 metres. So the total points you can get is 250 points for a fish. So this first fish featured in my last video. I just slowly glide down. I use the downward momentum to glide towards the fish. So I'm not moving too much. Just line up for a pretty simple shot. Red throat are normally very flighty and this guy was just a little less flighty. So this red throat ended up going 50 centimetres to the fork of the tail. There's not much art to shooting a coral trout. You pretty well just line up and shoot. But you'll see on this one, my shot is not that good. Um, I was worried it was going to tear out, so I actually swam down and grabbed the fish itself rather than the spear. I shot a few trout this day. I'm not too sure if this is the exact one that I put into the comp. But it was a 61 centimeters to the shortest point of its tail. So this guy would be pretty close. So this was my last dive at the reef before the end of the running comp and probably my last chance to spear this species, a Spangled Emperor. Three dives previous to this, I was spending like a minute and a half to two minutes on the bottom flicking sand up, I was keeping my head down. I was trying all sorts of different tricks to try and get this school of Spangled Emperor to come in closer to me. They were slowly getting more comfortable with me. But in the end, a good old dive bomb got the job done. This guy measured 48 centimeters to the fork of its tail. Now we're back on the beautiful Mackay Coast. So this first spot on the coast is known for its current. I'm barely kicking here. This is mainly just the current taking me over top of the rocks until I get to the bottom and I can hold steady. Once I'm there, I spot these three finger marks. I pick the bigger one of the three and track it as it moves across in front of these rocks. And I just wait until it pokes out just past the rock so I don't damage my spear. So that fish went 43 centimetres. So this next one's a barred or a graphic tusk fish. You find them everywhere at this particular spot. They seem to hang out in pairs and they're all around this sort of 30 to 40 centimetre size. This one went 37 centimetres to the shortest part of its tail.
And here we have a $89 ornate crayfish. That spear is still stuck in that rock. I actually found it again the other day and had another go at getting it out and had no chance. Good old dusky flathead. I actually didn't have the GoPro on for the shot of this fish. It ended up going 62 centimeters. Next up, we have the grey mackerel. There's three of them swimming around together here. I tried to pick the biggest one of the three, but a pretty good holding shot just in between the dorsal and anal fin. This guy went 67 centimeters to the fork of the tail. This next spot's a little bit deeper. Uh, it's sandy bottom with little sort of rocks and isolated bombies. Not very high, but high enough to hold fish. As I get to the bottom, you see a good sized tusky move past. And I had to make a decision. Do I pursue the tusky? Or do I take the grassy? This is the biggest grassy I've seen in the water. It had that little hump on its head. I put a good holding shot on it. It's a great tasting fish and another good entry into the running comp. This guy ended up going 52 centimeters to the fork of the tail. Fuck yeah. But hey, that's it for part one. Part two, I'm gonna have all the species that are more commonly chased on this part of the coast. I have my big Spanish from the end of last year, bar cheek trout from this year, barra, red emperor, Big Tusky, first fish of the year. I hope you enjoyed that one. Please like, subscribe, and ring that little bell to make sure you don't miss out on part two. Cheers.